Michael is my nephew. He's uh, 18 years old, and his parents and I made a lot of bad decisions for him. A young person in trouble, it breaks your heart. And it's rarely of their own making. And he was exposed to a lot of violence, as you can imagine. And we did everything we could to protect him, but he still ended up in prison. Drugs? He, uh, he killed somebody in self-defense. Oh. Taking a life changes a life. I saw that firsthand in the war with child soldiers. Children. Innocent children. Brainwashed and trained to commit obscene, violent crimes. Yeah, I tried to protect him from violence, and then I had to teach him how to be violent. Well, at the risk of sounding like a Pollyanna, I... there is hope. I've seen people change. It's not easy. It takes a lot of patience and a lot of love to undo the damage, but I'll bet if you're willing to be constant with him and put in the time, you can probably help your nephew heal. your friend I'm sorry I don't why why are you sorry she called me she said everything was great did she say that how I embarrassed myself no she didn't say anything like that well the real name's Abby we talked I mean really you talked I thought maybe you'd work out but I blew but it I blew it what do you mean you blew it I'm sure everything's fine you're probably overreacting Sam you couldn't possibly understand Home. Wow, bed. I could seriously sleep for a week. I, uh, I like the way you think. Mm. Mm. Lulu, Maxie, let me in. I know you're in there. Not her. No, no, I got a gun. We'll say it's self defense. It's cool. She never sleeps. We have work to do. Um, I just got off a plane, so... Actually, according to your text message, you landed over an hour ago. I gave you 30 minutes to get home. But I thought I might find you here. Sorry, I only brought coffee for Lulu. Cool. So it looks like I'm probably not gonna sleep, right? Probably not. I need uh, you to focus, and he's a distraction. All right, well, what the hell? There's probably nothing in the fridge. So I will go get us some takeout and bring us back some dinner for two. Subtle. See you later. Okay, so, so important. Brenda Barrett, the cover girl of Kate's dreams, and we're gonna get her. <laughs> it looks like cousin Olivia just scored a new one. Look at this old man. Well, um, thank you, but I just don't think I want to be a professional escort. <laughs> well, we can call it something else if you'd like. Really? Yeah, you could be <laughs> like my assistant. You know, bodyguard? Better. Back in the car. <laughs> you know, those, those well, guys. you know what they say, a rose by any other name. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. I'm just don't, don't think of it as a, as a career, okay? Just think of it as a short gig, just for a few months. You can earn some money and turn your focus back on your music. So, I mean, that's what you want. Lisa definitely had a thing for Patrick. Mm -hmm. She pursued him relentlessly. Did it turn into a dangerous obsession? I don't know. If you ask, then Shady Brooks is exactly where she needs to be right now. But if not, she might be the victim here. Just the rumor of being crazy is hard to bounce back from. Yeah, you know, people get a lot of crazy ideas, and uh, yeah, it can be really hard to shake. 
I mean, take John, for instance. Everyone, everyone assumes that he's that he's reckless and you know self-destructive. And every now and then he goes out and he proves it. So. You think you can save him? You think you can save Lisa? risk of being self-serving let this be my teachable moment or you can tell me to shut my wisdom <laughs> i wouldn't dream of it dr weber one of these days my life might be in your hands <laughs> <laughs> another notch on your belt cuz uh what's it to you <laughs> coleman i uh, i think someone's been overserved over here a word of advice, don't let the body work fool you. Olivia has a lot of miles on that chassis. You got exactly two choices here, Con. You can go there, shut your freaking mouth, uh -huh. or you can get bitch slapped in the next Tuesday. Oh, you know, it's really embarrassing how you get knocked from guy to guy. <laughs> Look who's talking, Con. You want to talk embarrassing? Wait till I knock you down on your fat ass. Don't you threaten me. Let's threaten you? you? That wasn't a threat. That was a promise. What happened, Olivia? Did your boy toy abandon you, huh? You looking for a new man? <laughs> Don't Come worry, on. Con. I'm not yeah. interested in Coleman, but I think we both know yeah. that he jumped right the Calm down. Come here, Wildcat. Whoa, whoa, baby, whoa. Come on, come here. Come it's here. Okay. It's all right. What are you doing, huh? Nothing. I'm just fine. I'm just teaching that self-righteous bitch a lesson. Keep trying. <sighs> Honey, I'm so glad you're home. <laughs> what are you doing? We have work to do. This whole Brenda thing is a waste of time. Jax already said he doesn't want her on the cover. I think Jax would love to have Brenda on the cover. Yeah, well, Carly would never let it happen. Okay, well, Kate is the one who can make and break our careers, and I think she will be ecstatic if we can get Brenda to do the cover. Have you even spoken to Brenda? I thought maybe we could do that together. So, we don't even know if she would be interested. Look, I'm not exactly excited about this either, okay? Spinelli has developed this insane crush on Brenda. He's walking around calling her the divine one. If I got to choose, Brenda would be doing catalog work for a discount chain or modeling snowsuits or maybe support bras and granny panties. But look, Brenda's hot. Kate wants her, so we have to get her. Oh, is that, is that all? No, look at this. Every guy wants Brenda Barrett. Every girl wants to be her. We have to deliver her to Crimson. Mm. Who do I have to sleep with to get another glass of wine? That would be me. I, I mean, you don't have to sleep with me. I mean, I have wine, but you don't have to... Red or white? White. White, okay. And it was a joke. Oh, okay. Max, may I ask you something? Sure, what do you need, Miss Simlick? Oh, please. It's Suzanne. Um... Is this the entire contact sheet for Brenda Barrett? Because if I don't have the whole list, I am uh, basically screwed. That's the list Jason gave me. Okay. And are you two fellas ready to keep my girl out of harm's way? Yeah, we'll uh, do our best. We understand that Miss Barrett can be a tough one to wrangle. Oh, Max. I have a feeling you are uh, a man with a gentle touch when it comes to handling difficult women. Uh, I do have a knack for handling difficult women. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't hear that. Ubble tray. Ubble tray? Seriously, mm -hmm. Milo? Pig Latin? Really? Yeah. Um, uh, Diane Miller, Suzanne Stanwyck. Uh, Suzanne runs Brenda Barrett's charity. ASEC. Yes. Uh -huh. You've heard about us, the work we do? Well, all I know is that every time I turn around, I'm getting a solicitation for another donation. Must be very nice having someone like Brenda Barrett hitting up the rich and famous for your money. Well, you obviously don't know what work we do or how a nonprofit works. I know that I've sued charities for accepting contributions that then go into the administrator's pocket. We have a four-star rating. I take a nominal fee. 95% of our monies go into program services. Really? Mm. Mm. Well, then tell me, who pays for Brenda Barrett's security? Because it's my understanding that she's incredibly high maintenance, requires round-the-clock attention, and frankly, I don't think the burden of Brenda's security should be shouldered by my two clients. 
Oh, and these two lovely gentlemen are your clients? <laughs> no, I was referring to Jason Morgan and Sonny Corinthos. I don't know where you got your information, but Sonny Corinthos doesn't get anywhere near Brenda Barrett. You don't have to wait out here? I don't want to see Sam or Brenda. I think Brenda's uh, sleeping and Sam said she was going to see you, so come on. Sam uh, tried to help me. It's not her fault I'm a train wreck. What happened? Sam found me this really great girl. She's nice and beautiful. I thought it was going to work out, but I blew it. I don't know what I'm going to do. Man.